Hard luck for City. Owen commentates on burglary. A card board member. Del Piero jets in and WWE want Keen out. I'm Layla and this is The Goal. We start with Man City, who've had a tough week, a bruising visit to Stoke before an incredible match at Bernabeu. I'm with Wayne VC. Now, Wayne, it was a dramatic end to that last game, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a fa fabulous uh, and five goals in the last half an hour. Cristiano Ronaldo, last minute winner. Brilliant knee slide from Jose Mourinho. Mm. It was brilliant theatre and, and a great match to watch. But Man City will be very disappointed to have let a uh, lead slip on two occasions. Now Hart was particularly critical of himself at the end of that match, what's going on with him? Yeah, I mean he was, um, he, did, he did a snap interview straight after the match had finished and he was very, very critical of his own performance and his own team performance, um, particularly in the last five minutes. I mean what was quite interesting is Hart had a great game, you know, some brilliant saves, about eight or nine really, really important saves, but the, but the one to sort of, the, the match, the crucial one for the whole match in the last minute, um, he, Cristiano Ronaldo shot, typical Ronaldo, great shot back, it's just in front of him. Vincent Company sort of unsighted him a little, but he would have been very, very disappointed himself not to have been able to parry it away. And, and he, he came out and said, I messed up, the team messed up, the defence messed up, which is very honest of him. Yeah, honest of him at least. Now, um, it's not going to get any easier because they host Arsenal next. Yeah, I mean, City have, haven't started the season very fluently. Um, they won the league last season. They've got eight points from four games, which is reasonable enough, but they haven't looked great lately. The, mm. the quality of the football's not quite as good as it was last year. And they played quite well in the second half against Real Madrid, but they need to up their standard to play Arsenal. Arsenal have also got eight points from four games, but have looked more fluent than City have. And City need to reproduce some of the form of last season, especially they spent what, five new players in the last day of the window, and they need to have some sort of impact now. Wayne, thank you very, very much. That Arsenal match is, of course, on Sunday at 4 p.m. Michael Owen made his debut for Stoke against Man City at the weekend, even though the night before someone had been trying to break into his house. Owen was at home in Wales and watched the burglary unfold on CCTV, whilst tweeting updates of the break-in to all his followers. The former England striker eventually called the police and the would-be burglar was found hiding in the boot of his own car. Genoa president Enrico Preziosi is serving a six-month ban for hooliganism and is not allowed to watch his side play in the flesh. On an away trip to Serie A, leaders Juventus, Preziosi's fellow board members found a way to have him there in paper, if not just in spirit, by bringing along a life-size cardboard cutout to watch the match. We're told he enjoyed the game but later admitted he just wasn't cut out for it. Alessandro Del Piero was given a rock star's welcome when he arrived at Sydney Airport. The Italian legend has signed for A-League side Sydney FC and obviously generated quite a bit of interest when he opted for the Australian side over Liverpool. Wonder if the weather had anything to do with it. The A-League season starts on the 5th of October and you can follow all the progress of Del Piero along with all the highlights and goals right here. Blackburn Rovers sit at the top of the championship after an undefeated start to the season. But if you thought all those disgruntled fans would have calmed down, you'd be wrong. A banner at the Night of Champions WWE wrestling event in America clearly showed the words Keen Out amongst the crowd. The event was in Boston, more than 3,000 miles away from Blackburn. The banner was believed to have belonged to a hardcore Rovers fan. You can't question his determination to get a new manager installed at Ewood Park. Well, at least he He's keen. We want to know what else you get when you cross football and wrestling. Yes, we want your hashtag football wrestlers. Maybe it's Stone Cold Dean Austin or Robbie Randy Savage. Stick them into Twitter with the hashtag football wrestlers and we'll read the best ones out next week. I'm Layla and I'll see you then. Bye bye.